Eyewitness News, the Chicago area's leading news, with Jim Rosenfield, Cheryl Burton, Mark Shinowski, and Tracy Butler. <laughs> well, if gambling on the riverfront is your type of entertainment, then add the city of Elgin to your list of cities to place a bet. The 400-foot Grand Victoria made its big splash into the Fox River this morning after shifting from its riverside construction site. The luxury gambling casino is the final licensed riverboat to be launched in the Fox River. Now, don't reach into your pocketbooks just yet. Completion of the casino is set for October. Well, there's still a lot more on Eyewitness News. Mark Shanowski will have all the sports, including some golf games today. This is CLTV News. From our studios in Oak Brook, you're watching Chicagoland Television News, the region's 24-hour local news channel. And now, with news from around Chicago, the suburbs, and Northwest Indiana, here's the Weekend Edition. Residents in the city of Elgin have something to smile about as the city puts its floating casino on the Fox River. It took three tries to officially christen the Grand Victoria. A few minutes later, workers slid the 400-foot boat into the water sideways. Elgin officials hope the project will boost the city's sagging economy. The boat was built on side with local labor, and the mayor says getting the boat in the water is a sign of good things to come. Uh, to me, it's symbolic of what we expect, a new era in our community. Uh, we expect uh, there already have been a lot of jobs created. Uh, people are being hired as we talk. The boat plus a land-based pavilion will cost about $100 million. The boat is scheduled to be completed and ready for gambling by October 15th. From WBBM-TV, Chicago, this is Channel 2 News at 6. Well, the launching of a new riverboat casino made a big splash today in Elgin. We christened the, the Grand Victoria. Cheers. After the traditional champagne christening, cheering crowds watched as the 400-foot Grand Victoria went sliding into the Fox River. It was an unusual launch because, as you can see, it was done from the side. If all goes as planned, the casino will open in October. Never seen a boat launch like that before. From our studios in Oak Brook, you're watching Chicagoland Television News, the region's 24-hour local news channel. And now, with news from around Chicago, the suburbs, and northwest Indiana, here's the Evening Edition. There's a big splash in Elgin as the structure for the city's riverboat is put on the Fox River. While there are still a couple of months to go before the first cruise, excitement is growing as city officials and residents see their hopes for economic revival come to life. CLTV's Kim Morris reports. It took a couple of tries to officially christen Elgin's Grand Victoria. Then, a few minutes later... It was amazing. I, uh, you know, it's just breathtaking. <laughs> the 400-foot-long riverboat is the largest of the state's floating casinos and the only one built on site with local labor. It was side-launched because of the narrow width and shallow depth of the Fox River at the entry point. Elgin residents and officials believe this project can breathe life back into a sagging Elgin economy. At this point, I'm pretty optimistic about it and hope it will because this area could use some picking up. To me, it's symbolic of what we expect, a new era in our community. Uh, we expect uh, there already have been a lot of jobs created. Developers are leasing the land from the city. That money is being used to speed up the fix-up in downtown Elgin. But the question is whether or not there are already too many riverboats in Illinois to allow Elgin's hopes for revitalization to stay afloat. The developers and the mayor don't see a problem. 
Some people like to go to the opera, some people like to go to horse races, uh, some people like to go to river fence. In Elgin, Kim Morris, CLTV News. Elgin received the last of the state's 10 riverboat licenses. The Finnish boat is scheduled to make its first voyage on October 15th. West suburban Elgin officials are placing their bets on their new riverboat. They launched the Grand Victoria Riverboat today with hopes of revitalizing their economy. WGN Sonia Gant was on hand as they set those hopes afloat. Without a hitch and quite a splash, the Grand Victoria settled into the Fox River. About 5,000 Elgin residents were on hand, quite a few with big hopes and expectations for this boat. I think it's wonderful, and I think it's going to bring a lot of business and, and uh, industry to Elgin. Developers predict the Grand Victoria will add 14 million jobs to the town's economy and at least 1,200 jobs. Pipe fitter Roy Hine already got one of the 500 construction jobs. I think it's great to experience I'll never have again. You don't get to build a boat too often. But not everyone is excited about the Grand Victoria. There are some who told us that they worry about the problems that gambling may bring. But the mayor of Elgin has an answer for those critics. I think they're overstated because I think if we look in the uh, cities uh, like Joliet uh, and Aurora who have gambling, uh, uh, they're doing quite well. But I do have concerns that we possibly may have problems with increased crime and hopefully enough revenues will be set aside so that um, any problems that occur can be kept under control. Residents want a successful riverboat to spill over to a revitalized downtown. Whether the Grand Victoria is able to compete with existing and proposed riverboats remains to be seen. There's room for more expansion and uh, the developers, uh, even before this thing started, always felt that uh, riverboat gambling would come to Chicago. And I wish Mayor Daly well. The Grand Victoria and neighboring entertainment pavilion are scheduled to open sometime this fall. Sonia Gant, WGN News. The license for Elgin's riverboats is the state's 10th and last permit under the Illinois Gaming Act of 1989. Elgin is about to come online as the latest city in Illinois to join the ranks of those sporting riverboat casinos. The Grand Victoria Casino moved a step closer to completion today with its launch into the Fox River. And Jack Connedy was there. The Grand Victoria sailed as far into the Fox River today as it's ever likely to go. Ready to come online in October as the 10th riverboat casino in Illinois. I think down the road it's going to be great. It's going to bring a lot of revenue into the, into the city. And uh, the city definitely needed something to give it a good shot. And I think this is it. But when it's all said and done, can it really succeed here at Elgin? Can a riverboat here really compete with riverboats in Chicago? Las Vegas continues to build. Uh, you think that they reached the saturation point. Uh, more and more people like to uh, go out on a day or two uh, sojourn and recreationally gamble. And uh, whether that's right or wrong, and uh, it's up to the individual to determine, but it's recreational dollars. Elgin is certainly the type of city the legislature had in mind when the riverboat bill first passed, an aging landmark to the bygone days of manufacturing in Illinois. I think that's a judgment that the legislature needs to make when they look at the intent of the legislation and what they were trying to do for these towns where boats currently exist. I think they should uh, be concerned and take into account what may happen if they do uh, reach oversaturation. And that's precisely the type of argument that angers Mayor Richard Daley, who sees everyone getting boats but oh, Chicago. And other, now they got Cicero, or what else do they have? The Splains, Rockford. I mean, these are given away like uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Still, critics, not in large supply here today, worry about this response. My mom is going to lose a lot of money there. 
But the big question is, how much money will the boat float? And for how long? Before it's tied down by competitors in bigger cities that want them to. Jack Connerty, Fox News, Chicago. The Elgin Casino is owned in part by the Chicago-based Hyatt Development Corporation and is expected to generate some $14 million a year in gambling revenues. Eyewitness News, the Chicago area's leading news, with Jim Rosenfield, Cheryl Burton, Mark Shinowski, and Tracy Butler. If gambling on the riverfront is your type of entertainment, you can add the city of Elgin to your list of places to place a bet. The 400-foot Grand Victoria made a big splash into the Fox River this morning after shifting from its riverside construction site. The luxury gambling casino is the last licensed riverboat to be launched in the Fox River. Now, don't reach into your pocketbooks just yet. Completion of the casino is set for October. And it was quite nice out there to launch a boat or any ship or do anything on the water. Nice on the water, but tough for those folks at Adler trying to see Jupiter tonight. We have those clouds to deal with. But yeah. uh, what amazing pictures already to see what has happened out there in space. From our studios in Oak Brook, you're watching Chicagoland Television News, the region's 24-hour local news channel. And now, with news from around Chicago, the suburbs, and northwest Indiana, here's the Evening Edition. Residents in the city of Elgin are hoping themselves to get a new chance, an economic one, as the city puts its floating casino on the Fox River. It took three tries to officially christen the Grand Victoria. A few minutes later, workers slid the 400-foot boat into the water sideways. Elgin officials hope the project will boost Elgin's sagging economy. The boat was built on site with local labor, and the mayor says getting the boat in the water is a sign of good things to come. To me, it's symbolic of what we expect, a new era in our community. Uh, we expect, uh, there already have been a lot of jobs created. Uh, people are being hired as we talk. The boat plus a land-based pavilion will cost about $100 million. The boat is scheduled to be completed and ready for gambling by October 15th.